We're, we're going to talk about whatever you want to talk about. So. Come here. This is Zelda Harris. She's going to talk with us. Oh, Zelda sure. Zelda plays uh, Troy and Crooklyn. Oh, hey, congratulations, ladies. Hey. How does it feel being here at tonight at the TCM Film Festival? Oh, it's so exciting to be here. It's such a, such a wild ride. And we get to come together, old friends, and reunite and see some great films. What about for you tonight? Um, I'd say it's really magical. I feel like, you know, with myself and some of my friends who are younger, everything is streaming. We're making our own independent films with our phones. And events like this kind of remind us of our roots where we come from, how it used to be growing up seeing a lot of those old films and black and white footage. You look back and you realize that all of the icons that you look up to, some of whom are here tonight, and us, you know, young people, many of us were influenced by the same things. And that magic, you know, the kernel, the essence of what makes us artists, it's still there. It's here tonight. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, wow. Is there a particular film that you, you two are particularly looking forward to this, this weekend? Oh, gosh. I would say Paris Blues. Yeah. I would say Paris yeah. Blues is the one. Yes, yes. It's directed by Martin Ritt, who directed HUD and Norma Ray and Sounder, a film from my childhood. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Yes, and it stars Sidney Poitier, uh, Paul Newman, Diane Carroll, who was the first African-American woman I ever saw on television when I was a kid, yes. and Joanne Woodward. And it's a film. It was uh, made in the 60s, and it's about... Um, Ex expat musicians living in Paris, and it's based on a on a novel that focuses on the character of Eddie, who is a black expat, African American. It's raining. It's going to rain yeah, here. And um, so that film that film is really interesting, and and the story, um, the relationship between the two couples, and also the fact that it's it's takes place in 1960 or 61 and Eddie's character played by Sidney Poitier is an expat so he wants to stay in, in, a, in, a, in a place where he feels accepted for who he is not, not a Negro uh, waiter not a Negro uh, musician he is a man and what he's facing at home back in the States is segregation racial discrimination uh, this is before the Voting Rights Act this is yeah so um this is before predate Civil Rights Act, so and kind of and and after Brown versus Board of Education. So it deals with that is what kind of word that's in the background, you know, underneath the story. Wow, that's sort of long-winded, right? <laughs> that's, that's like a full, that's, that's a full, that's a that's a full essay. There. That's a full essay. Yeah. Hey, I don't, you know. These films are deep. They carry a lot of meaning. And the more time elapses from when they were made, the more that we can see what's in there. I, I, I'm, I'm excited for Paris Blues now, too. <laughs> Paris Blues is an interesting film. Yeah. And, you know, I was just saying to this, this other woman, because it does hint at an interracial relationship also between Paul Newman and Diane Carroll, because he tries to pick her up at the subway. Which I'm, not, I'm sorry, at the, at the subway. At the train station. Um, but that doesn't manifest, but it's sort of, you know, it's hinted at as what, as you know, there as well. So it's a really, it's a really well-written story and beautifully acted and beautifully shot, directed, and the, the, and scored by Duke Ellington and Louis Armstrong is in the film and it's just exciting. Now, now I'm going to have to put that on my list this weekend. And yeah. let me tell you what else about the movie. What else? They appreciate jazz. There's a tribute to jazz. Uh, People listen to the music. They're attentive to the performers. Yeah. And there's not this din above. You know, when you go to a jazz club and everyone's talking, talking, and there's this din. People, all eyes are on the musician. There's such respect and reverence for this art form. Mm. And my father would call jazz, my father calls jazz the highest art form. So there you go. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs>